and welcome to Cooking with Wanda. Today, in my quickly after work meal, I will be making teriyaki stir fried chicken with some stir fried zucchini. And right here, I'm going to be preparing some rice. I have my pan heating up. I have three cups of water in my pot here. I'm going to put a dash of salt in there. This will be for my rice. Once my, once my water starts to boil, I'll add my rice in here. Now I had three cups of water, so I'm going to add about two, I think I'm going to add like one and a half to two cups of rice in here because you use um, double the amount of rice, I'm sorry, you use double the amount, so I got two, three cups of um, water, I'm going to put six cups of rice in here. And for my zucchini, to stir fry my zucchini, I think I'm going to do it in here, I have lots of space, I'm going to put the oil in, in my pan, I put a little oil in here also for my chicken also, because I... I'm going to be doing them simultaneously, so make sure you keep your eyes on me, okay? So, with my chicken, I added some rice, some salt, and some pepper. I could add a little bit more, like a little seasoning in here. I'm going to add a little of the Tony Creole seasoning to my chicken, just to give it a little bit more flavor. And maybe a little uh, garlic powder. a little onion powder. My pans are pretty hot. I'm going to turn them down because I had them up pretty high warming them while I was um, preparing for the video. And right here in this pan that I'm going to be cooking the zucchini in is pretty ready. So what I'm going to add to that pan, I put a little bit of oil in there, but I'm going to add a little butter, like two tablespoons of butter to this pan. It's a pretty large pan. And as that butter melts, after that I have about uh, five cloves of garlic that I'm going to add to that recipe right there. But I'm going to wash that butter because butter has a tendency to scorch if it gets too hot. So I'm going to wash it as I melt it in this pan. And I was thinking as I was cooking that with my chicken, I might want to add some peppers and onions to it when I'm stir frying. So, I'm going to cut this on here. I'm going to do here now. Because I'll add my garlic to my pan. Like I say, this is a pretty large pan, so let's make sure. We have to watch the garlic because you don't want it to burn. I'm multitasking here, guys. I'm going to cut this onion up really fast. I'm going to go with Okay, now that 
this garlic has been sauteing here in my butter. I'm going to add my zucchini. And you can see that I cut my zucchini sliced. Not so small, but a little slices. I'm going to add them to the pan. That was about uh, five small zucchinis that I have there. Not really that large, but five. Now I cut about half of a medium onion. And I'll just add that to this oil that I have in here so it can be cooking a little bit getting a little translucent. I don't want to overcook the onion. I just want it to add a little flavor to my chicken. And you know I like some color, so I'm going to add a couple of peppers to it. Uh, and I always cook what I have. So I have some peppers here. I have a a bell pepper here, some orange, red, and yellow pepper. I'm not going to use much of the pepper. The, the onions and as I'm stirring up these onions I see that my water is actually boiling already for my rice so I'll take my lid off here Once I stir my rice, what I'll do is I'm going to turn it down really low. And I'll let it steam cook. So my, my tight lid back up there won't have to bother the rice anymore for until it's done. Okay. Now my onions are getting a little translucent here. Stirring up my zucchini. Making sure that I get my garlic and my butter on my zucchini as I'm stirring it. I don't want it to get too soft. I just want it to make sure that it has all of the flavors in there. I'm going to wash these peppers off. portion of yellow pepper and a little portion of red pepper. Let me cut these 
really quick so I can put those in here with my honey. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put them in this cup. Before I put them in with it. I like to fill my, I like to um, cut my onions kind of large so they don't cook too fast, but they smell so good and I love onions, especially with my vegetables and my chicken, it just tastes so good together. And these peppers will help to flavor my chicken. Now, mind you, with my chicken, it was basically just some um, chicken thighs that I bought from Costco. And these were the chicken thighs that had the bone in. And I just um, just cut the bone, cut the chicken off the bone. So I add these to my peppers, I mean to my onion. Add some salt. Now let them stir fry for a little while. Like I said, they don't have to get really, really soft because I'm going to cook my meat also. But I'm going to take these out before I cook my meat and then I'll put them back in around when my meat is um, almost done. Or two, 
and then you can use some the leftovers to take for lunch the next day. I am trying this little stand here today, so that's why I'm trying to make sure that everything you can pretty much see everything that I'm cooking from one spot. So like I say, I'm new to the YouTube, so I might be trying different things and why today she uh she's standing up, you don't see her face or whatever, I just want you to make sure that you guys get to see the food. Okay? And my zucchini is doing very well. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a few pepper flakes to my zucchini. Not a lot. Just a few. and give them a couple of salt. Like I said, you don't really want the zucchini to cook too long because zucchini, they make their own water like cabbage. So it's according to you how you like it. If you like yours cooked a little soft, you can leave it on for a little while. If you don't, it's almost ready. What I do is I probably, I'll taste this one to make sure that it tastes like I like it to taste. That's good. I haven't cooked all the nutrients out of it. Turn my chicken over. And you basically when you cook having the chicken cut up into small slices like this, it doesn't take it long to brown, so you can just turn them over. And friends, I'll tell you, I would love for you to share my um, videos and like my videos because until I get to a certain subscriber's type, I can't go live. I have to actually do videos and post them up on my channel. So, I ask that you guys like my videos, subscribe, and share them with um, your Facebook friends and family to help me reach a good um, subscription so that I'll be able to, you know, manipulate my channel a little more. Okay. My rice is done. These zucchini, they're, they're pretty much done right now. What I'm gonna do for these, because this on um, cast iron pan right here, it holds heat very well. This is one of the cast iron pans that I got from my mom. She probably got it from my grandmother or my great grandmother. My mom, she does well when it comes to uh, preserving her utensils. And since she knows that I've been starting this um, cooking channel, she um told me that she had some home, so I came down and I collected them because a lot of cast signs is hard to find these days. So while my chicken is cooking, I'll take the zucchini and I'll put them in a bowl. Because as, I, as long as I keep them in the cast iron pan, they're going to continue to cook. <laughs> I 
I got my some of my juices that's in my pan in here with them. Just a post, I don't know if I told you guys the story, but I always try to um, incorporate, you know, vegetables in my meals because I'm a new grandmother. I have little ones, and when they start eating, like I have a three-year-old, where well, he's about to be three, and I try to camouflage vegetables on him because he will eat all the little chicken nuggets and chicken strips that you want. But I like to get some vegetables into my grandbaby. Mm -hmm. All right. This chicken is cooking really good now. I let it stay in there because I like my chicken to be really brown when I'm eating and cook well. I got me a fresh Ziploc bag so I can put my peppers in the ones that I cut. I like to save them for my other recipes. I put them in a the Ziploc bag and take as much air out of them as I can, but they won't be in here that long because I cook with these peppers all the time. And put these in the refrigerator. You guys can see how brown the chicken is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna let it get a little bit more brown. And the teriyaki sauce, I'm trying a new teriyaki sauce actually. Um, when I'm in the grocery store, I often pick up new sauces when I'm in the grocery store. Because I like to try new new things. And like I say, I like to make stir fries and quick meals when I come home. So the sauce that I'm going to be using today is this one. It's uh, Asian Pantry Honey Meringue Teriyaki Sauce. I'm going to shake it up because it's been in my, in my cabinet. Now you can make your own teriyaki sauce if you like, but during the week when I'm like just preparing quick meals, I'll just use some sauces that I have already in my cabinet. Okay. So I don't see any pink in any of my chicken any longer. It's been cooking for a while and it's browning very well. So what I'm going to do now is these peppers and onions that you saw, I'm going to incorporate them with my chicken. rice is cooking very, very well. I turned the eye down so it's pretty much the steam and the heat from the water is steaming the rice. And I'll show you those, my rice when, when they're done. I like to, uh, I like for my rice to be separated and when you put it on your plate, you can see every kernel of the rice. It's not mushy. You can move it around on your plate. Okay. 
when I'm cooking rice, I try not to open up the lid. That's why I like to use a, um, a clear lid when I'm cooking the rice so I can see inside. Because the more you open the rice, you know, you're letting out the steam. And I kind of like to uh, keep my steam in my rice because that helps it to cook faster. Okay. Sometimes I take my sauce and I put it in another little bowl and mix it up together in case I want to add some, you know, extra ingredients that I like. And I think that's what I'm going to do today. I'll take some of this and add my sauce here to my little bowl. Taste it. Taste this sauce. Mm. Wow, this sauce is really good. Really good sauce. I think what I would like to add to this sauce, I like to add a little hot. A brown sugar. I just happen to have some of this. I'm going to take this. Add about maybe a teaspoon. Teaspoon of brown sugar to this just to take the little twang off that salt. Mmm. bring that camera over just a little closer to the food so that you guys can see just how great there you go a teaspoon dark brown sugar add that in there stir it up a little bit just to take that flame off the salt with the salt I've used it in some other dishes. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sauce that I had. As a matter of fact, let me bring you guys closer to my dish. So you can see it. A little better. Okay. I'm going to take this sauce and just stir it in here with my stuff. And I'm just going to stir fry that chicken, let it marinate in that sauce really good there. And because I have rice and I have a nice amount of rice. What I think I might do is I might thicken this sauce up just a little bit so I have a little bit more to add on my rice on the side. So I'm going to take me some take me about a about a tablespoon of a flour to add to that bowl that I had that sauce in. I'm going to add about a half a cup of water to this flour here. Okay. Add about a Half a cup of water to that flour when I'm stirring it to get the lumps out. But trust, the lumps gonna get out as I cook. And I'm gonna pour that in slowly, a little bit at a time, with that teriyaki sauce that I put in this. And that actually will allow the sauce to kind of cling to your chicken, you know. 
give it that nice flavor and also add a little bit more um, sauce so when you put it on over your rice you'll have some extra sauce to put over your rice. Now don't be afraid to taste your food. You know what you like your food to taste like. So don't be afraid to taste it. I'm just taking a little spoon here and getting a little... I don't want to lie. Let's taste it. Oh my goodness. That sauce is excellent. Oh my goodness. I think I might want a little bit more of that stuff. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Now I'm going to go get on and use it up. Take waste food. If this has made it, might as well use it. Hopefully, hopefully you can see this. So you can see just how mm, the peppers and the onions, they, they've gotten a little softer now since they're in with the chicken. And I just let that sauce get, a, get hot, bubble a little bit. After that, it's done. So before 730, you need to be eating. I try to eat before 7, but I got a late start today. Sometimes I come home and I don't even think that I'm going to gonna cook. And then I say, okay, I'm going to try it. So... That's what I'm doing. I'm trying it. Believe it or not, I can turn that one off. It's done. Now, I'm going to take my lid off my rice. Right. Like I told you in one of my videos before, I like to use a a fork to fluff my rice up. And I usually like to fluff it from the middle. You can bring it a little closer so you can see the top. I like it might not be well enough for you to see. But once you can see how my rice is separated. And you can just wake it over the top and it just falls, you know, falls apart. It just separates from each other. And guess what? That rice is done. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to plate it up for you. And we're going to eat. I'm going to go place it. I like it. So it's not food so very well. Take a nice spoon so you can wipe here. Put it in here. Once I get it to the dinner table, I'll let you guys see just how separated these slices is. It's not mushy. Not mushy. These grains are separated. Take another little spoon here. And grab me a nice helping with this teriyaki chicken. Make sure you get some peppers and some onions with it. Like I said, grab me some of this gravy here. I'm a southern girl. I love me some, some sauce. Put a little sauce on my rice. And you know, I had some um some spring rolls. And good old spring rolls would be good with that, but I always think about those spring rolls at the end after I finish making. Let's take this plate on over to the table and turn the lights on.
watching my videos continue to subscribe like and share with your family and friends i do appreciate you love you goodbye